So talk to me a little bit about what it means for you to be a father. Um, me being a father, I mean, really, that's anybody that know me, my kids, everything. Um, I have, I'll sacrifice anything for them. Um, being a father um, is hard because, you know, you live, you ain't living for yourself anymore because you got to sacrifice for your kids. So me being a father, like, really changed my life and really made me to who I am today. I mean, if I didn't have no kids, I don't know if where I'll be where I'll be at now, or if if it would have turned me into be around kids. But my kids really just you no. Know, and how old are your kids now? Uh, my daughter is 15, uh, fifteen. No, go yeah, no fourteen going on fifteen, and my son uh, is ten going on eleven. Gotcha. So your daughter is in high school then, right? Yeah, she's she a sophomore now. Sophomore. Okay. What's that like? I mean, I, she has to be. I'm assuming she has to be going through the, the dating phase or liking boys, I should say. What is that like as a father? Are you having um, that Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, bad boys feeling when um, the boy comes knocking at your door or what? Uh, at first, it was it was bad at first because, um, you know, see, trying to see, uh, see your, your kids grow up. That's the hard part, a different situation. And then, you know, um, you really can't control what the world brings to them. You you feel like you can do this at a certain age. Yeah, but um, it got to the point, I don't want my kid hiding stuff from me. So now I'm um, I'm not cut loose on it, but you know, it's a thin, it's a thin line between stuff like that. So it just, um, then it also having a, a student athlete, you know, being popular, you know, stuff like that. It, I mean, it, it gonna come with it. So, but like I said, it's a thin line between certain things. I don't, um, I know when I was a, in high school, she doing better. My, I know my daughter, when I was doing sophomore year, she was doing, she doing way better than I was. So, I mean, I, it's a blessing on that too. And what about Trey Hunt the third? What's his personality like? Trey, he's, I got two, they two different kids. Trey is more, um, I think he's not going to, he's going to be a less prone kid to me. I don't know probably about with the girl. I don't know where that come with, but just a, he he's really 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 mature about really mature for his age. So um, like I said, I mean I wouldn't want no other way. Like I'm blessed to be the father for, to Renai and Trey. Uh, I wanted a boy and a girl, but I wanted my boy first because having my son protect you know his sis, little sister and stuff like that. But it didn't work out that way. But I mean. Everything else worked out how I wanted and stuff like that. So how do you balance the, the personality? It has to be a bit of a personality gap. You have one that's in high school and then your youngest that's going into the fifth grade, correct? So what does that person, personality uh, balance like in the household with the fifth grader and a tenth grader? Um, personality just is just, you see your kids, I just feel like in life, when you have kids, certain kids take out to their mom, certain kids take out to their dad. Um, Trey got more as my personality, like joking around, he gonna say what's on his mind. Renaya do got it, cause you know, I've been around, but she more as a serious person too. She joke around on her time, but Trey is more, he have my personality. So it's it's a difference on certain things, you know. I some I have fun with both, but Trey just a different, a, a different, vibe that he bring because I know we he chill he, he he gonna say something to me and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something back to him <laughs> so who you talking to I'm gonna clown on you back he gonna say something back my daughter she, she don't clown as much as me and Trey do what's the most difficult thing about being a father um really the, even just getting older me getting older just realizing Are you being a good enough father to your kids? Like, you know, just with me, because I'm never content. So I'm just looking at, am I doing everything I'm supposed to? And I mean, I also look at, you know, learn from other fathers too. So I don't just go my way. Maybe if I feel, maybe I need to tell my kids I need to look, I love them more. You know, I figure, you know, I look at different things and stuff like that. But it's just the biggest thing with me is just, are you, do you feel like, you, are you doing good, the best you can?
Nation.